for David Slayback. Back again. Jennifer, the thing I could not believe as we uh, uh, perused through the data sheets on George Hensley, it's only his second time ever on the telecast, and that's uh, got to be because of his age. Um, he's, he's only 25, mm -hmm. but he throws a fantastic ball. He's got a lot of tournament experience, and he's done well in things around town mm -hmm. and out of town. Wow, was that basketball? I'm, I'm not sure. Either that or, either that or a bad, <laughs> bad, bad ball on the My ball never bounces like that. Yeah. <laughs> Two twenty-five average qualifying score, seven twenty-nine. Second TV wow. appearance. <laughs> you know, George is just such a fine bowler. I think that's why we think he's been on more than he has because he's been in so many clutch positions. Oh, look out! Got that one down a little too early. Tough spare, we mentioned it before. Anytime you have a sleeper or hidden wood, you have to pretty much hit the uh, front pin directly on if you're throwing a straight ball or a little off to one side or the other if you're going to utilize the curve. And it's very essential that you concentrate on that. David Slayback, I think, has the perfect kind of ball for this type of condition because he gets early roll on it. Has a great forearm. 724. He had to make it to here, averaging 212. Five times just a few weeks ago, uh, he had never been on TV, but now he's gotten his experience in. And he is cool. He is cool. Talking to him after the uh, first that, match. Slips, even still makes it. Right, and that's a great arm swing. You talked about it. You can even make a few mistakes, mm -hmm. and if your arm swing is pure right. and headed towards its target other than falling down, mm -hmm. you've, you've still got a, a very good chance you of making You create area, is what happens. That's right. This is zone for a mistake. Averaging 212, 300 game, both two or three times a week, typically uses a hammer. And that hammer has some area. Now, he got that ball wide compared to his other shot in the left lane. I'd say he has about five, six <coughs> boards if he's really stroking it nice. Using the condition they give you is the key to bowling. Sometimes you're going to see it in a very competitive condition where the shot maker is going to have the advantage, the guy that can split boards. Mm -hmm. Another time the guy that's uh, be able to crank it up and stroke it out there if the area is there and he can use it, he's got the advantage. But whatever the lanes give you, that's all you're going to get and you can't get any more. Montgomery in home of that Ribs King sauce endorsed, endorsed by the big guy himself. That's great stuff. Next time he's in town, I tell you, there's not too many people on the face of this planet I'd like to shake their hand, but he's one of them. I just think he's been fabulous for uh, sports and entertainment for so many years. I have to buy the big bottle, though, because I go through that stuff like crazy, especially now with the summer coming up. That's right. And a spare logged in for George Hensley, age 25. As we said, 225 average, not too shabby, wow. and shooting 729 to qualify for this, his only second TV appearance. And he looks cool to me. Acts like he belongs here. 300 four times and an 800 also four times. Started bowling at the age of nine. All right. That's when they really develop a lot of talent is at those young years. There you that go. much better. You could yep. see his arm swing. It went up and out instead of like over his head. Fabulous shot. Just took a couple of frames to get comfortable with the condition. Take a look at his arm swing, as we've said before. Right straight over his target. The great forward roll, Jen head pin going to the right hand side of your screen coming off taking out the six and the ten ten pin working overtime give him a bonus did that ball hook early sure did right out of his hand whoa surprise surprise david tells us that he usually needs to stay down at the line and i would venture to say that he lifted up on that shot and that's why it started to roll early absolutely leads by 11 pins at this point but a lot of paper to go against a very very competent competitor in george hensley 
George lives in the Delhi area. We have a lot of Delhesians the last Del few weeks. I like that. Here, <laughs> let me write that down. Delhesians. Are, am I a Westwoodian? <laughs> I guess you could say that. I'm not. I'm going to work on this a little bit. <laughs> we, we, we'd hate to be politically or incorrect. geographically incorrect, right? <laughs> Heaven forbid. Mike Sells with us once again. Uh, Hudipole, of course, and uh, Jeff Weiler um, offering up that car that we would just love to give away for a 300 game. A very cool Camaro for a couple cool guys. Or gals. Or gals. Or gals. <laughs> we, you know, one, it, what was it? Girls look better in them. I mean, we know that. Um, <laughs> gee, I, I have no idea what you're talking about. I never noticed, Jen. Seriously, though, <laughs> Jeff Weiler's got some great deals going on. Go out and see him. We all know personally how great those deals are. Yes. Our Nissan Altima, my wife, mm -hmm. Sandy. And by the way, that's the name of George Hensley's wife, Sandy. An awesome name. Cut it out. I love <laughs> Would I kid you? That's such a coincidence. <laughs> no way. Way. No way. Married one and a half years. Sarah. His child, 20 months old. All right, little girl. I like little girls. I like little boys, L too. Little I have one of each myself, so L I try not little, to stay That's too right. You, you, I was going to say, you better adopt the middle of the road on this one <laughs> before you get home. Yeah. Pick no favorites here. <laughs> now, George is going to have to work on what he wants to do. He's obviously going to have to make an adjustment. Yes, I, he's nodding in approval. Got to make a change here. His opponent sitting on the bench wondering uh, what the next half of the game will hold for him, but uh, George Hensley just has to... Uh, maybe that's his wake-up call. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> uh, phone call for George Hensley. Move left and throw uh, right a little bit more or something. George that averages 225 on Tuesday nights at Western Bowl. Going wide. Again, the ball not giving the uh, correct reaction for what he wants to do. And he's, uh, again, working that gum pretty hard, but uh, he's going to have to work on the lanes a little bit harder. Single pin spare should be no problem. Match is very close at this point, so... Somebody's going to have to take control. George lives on rapid run. Is he a rapid running in then? <laughs> <laughs> Don't know, but that's where I sort of used to live. Yeah, over rapid there. Rapid run all the time. Over, over there. 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 Uh -huh. Bowls at Western and Waltz, as you pointed out. 225 is it high. 208's the low. And, and age nine, you, you've said it before, that's the great age to get out. Sign them up for a league, ladies and gentlemen. It is a great sport. You don't have to worry about the kids wandering off. They're, uh, you know, pretty much in the city area. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can go down and watch them progress from bumper bowling to regular bowling and then uh, eventually to king of bowling. I have a great story along with that. My son Justin um, and my daughter, they both bowl, and we were in the BPA Family Twosome Tournament. My son bowled 145 pins over his average, and I bowled 135 <laughs> and we won it, we're going to the state, and my daughter also qualified with her Aunt Linda. Uh, no, so no. we're all going to state with the BPA family to some <coughs> tournament, and it was really exciting. Not quite as exciting as going through the heart, breaking up a split and only leaving the four seven, but wait a minute, wait, 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 wait a minute. Let me back up. You <laughs> bowled how much over your average? I had a 755 scratch, and my son had a 397. He only averages 83, but he bowled 117, 137, 138. And I had the first nine in a row. It was just a great day, and it was we were no, all so excited. No kidding. Yeah, Which really, man, it was yeah. incredible. My son just, he hasn't quit talking about it yet. He wants to go practice now. I have to go take him practice. I bet you've had burgers, and we'll be right back after this commercial. Stay with us. We will be here, and I hope you will be too. For match number two.
in progress. We will be joining Slayback in the ninth frame to pick up the action right now. He's going to have to do something. He's gone high the last couple frames on this lane. The right lane has been his undoing. Let's see what he goes with. A little bit more loft, and the ball still hooks early. I think the move on the lane and the more loft isn't mm -hmm. going to make it. Taking a little off the ball just might. Jeff Weiler again, Hudipol, Ribs King, an affordable chiropractic. The people that help bring the show back to life. We thank you all. Greater Cincinnati thanks you all. And hopefully we all support you. No problem on that spare, as we know about David. He's a great spare shooter. Hasn't missed a spare nine <laughs> to a year, right? Right. But Since he, he was knee high to a grasshopper, I think is what Sam Coleman one, used to that, say. That one too. <laughs> I just remembered that. That was somewhere in the back of my mind. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of storage space back there, Jim, <laughs> for, for both of us. <laughs> Trust me. Gee, thanks, Dave. There's warehouses <laughs> of information yet to be learned. Um, <laughs> meanwhile, back at the bowling, we've got a uh, an extremely close match going. Uh, about uh, at this point, 13 pins. We're going to Look. find out from David what the heck's Ouch. going on here, and uh, what he's tried to do. We'll interview him after the game, but uh, Finn opening in the 10th spells his doom. This match is basically over. All George Hensley has to do is get any kind of account uh, in the 10th frame, and the match is over. George Hensley again throwing the legacy ball and we'll tell you how you can win one of those. In it's a fantastic ball. In game number three. You must have heard me. He pulled it. Four six, maximum penalty. Even with uh, just opening in the tenth, the count, if he takes one, one ninety four to one eighty four, he is uh, our winner and will go on to meet the reigning king, the king of kings, Riga Caucus. Everybody stay tuned, don't go away. We'll be back for match number three, King versus potential King, match number three. 